we humans and our wireless technology are pretty much inseparable. From the first cell phones that changed communication forever to today's cross-country video calls and virtual classrooms, technology continues to keep us connected with each other and the world around us. And yet, most of us barely think about how our technology works until the rare occasion when it doesn't. But while we're all very aware of our smartphones, smart cars, and smart homes, there's a whole other hidden world of incredibly intelligent technology at work in the cities where we live, helping to make our collective lives safer and better, all while we barely even notice. So who's making our cities smarter, and how? Good question, best answered by some of the industry's most important experts. There's a lot of brilliant uh, people and companies behind the scenes that make a lot of the solutions possible. Um, that are breaking ground every day and new ways to utilize wireless networks that have been stood up for more than 30 years and continue to evolve over time. Now it gets super exciting because you have this great infrastructure which becomes the playground for whole new things that we didn't even think were possible and a whole lot of things we haven't even dreamed of yet. For us at CTIA, uh, we're not really focused on defining what a smart city is. Our member companies represent the entire wireless ecosystem. For us, a smart city is literally a geography of IoT with a promise of creating greater efficiencies for folks who live in that city as well as folks who live and work in those cities. Welcome to Lake Nona. Proudly boasting one of the highest municipal city IQs in all of North America, this 17-square-mile community, contiguous to Orlando International Airport, is a flagship example of a modern, smart city. And it is one of today's most important templates for all industry leaders tasked with using technology to improve how cities and the people in them live. A smart city is an environment that uses technology to solve urban scale problems, but at the same time to remove friction from people's lives. It's the way that we actually use technology in an invisible way to make living in a place better. Lake Nona is a smart and responsive city. It was created by the Tavistock Group during the last 25 years in collaboration with some of the amazing partners that we have on the ground. So in Lake Nona, we have three components that make it smart and responsive. The first one is we have great physical infrastructure. Lake Nona has everything from single family homes to the world's largest tennis campus in the same environment. So that's our physical infrastructure. We have digital infrastructure, which means that we have over 25,000 miles of fiber. Now those two things would mean nothing without people. And that's the third layer that we have in Lake Nona. We have tens of thousands of people who live here, who work here, to, who come to school here every day, and millions of visitors. And in that intersection of the physical infrastructure, the digital infrastructure, and people, we create this environment that we believe is a smart and responsive city. It's smart with a purpose. One of Lake Nona's most impactful partnerships is with Verizon and its provider partner in Seco. The benefits of the collaboration seemingly have no end, but it all starts with the number five and the letter G. So at Verizon, we believe in creating networks that power the world forward. And we saw a perfect opportunity here to partner with Tavistock at Lake Nona to bring 5G ultra wideband experience to power many of the cutting edge innovations that would be enabled in this co-working space uh, that we have turned up here at Lake Nona. Verizon is a longtime strategic partner with Insego, and we've been providing them technologies ever since the 2G days. What Insego brings to Lake Nona is that experience and the broad portfolio of mobile, fixed wireless, and industrial products that will help the customers and partners of Lake Nona put 5G to work to create those next innovative solutions in an environment that you really can't find anywhere else. This flagship feature of Lake Nona's high-tech landscape is called the 5G Innovation Hub. The Innovation Hub location here is really a 5G-powered co-working space where this creates an opportunity for thought leaders, innovators, startups to get their hands-on experience to test and validate use cases that can be powered by 5G. It's a great opportunity to get dirt underneath your fingernails in a real-world setting uh, to prove your innovations uh, before you take it out to the commercial real-world deployments out there. Lake Nona is connected. It's connected everywhere. We have digital infrastructure, which means that we have over 25,000 miles of fiber. We have fiber to the home, to every business, to every hotel room, and that provides speeds that are over 10 times the national average in terms of connectivity. 
opportunity. It also allows people to work from home in a very easy way. As a matter of fact, even before the pandemic, one in four people in Lake Nona was working from home. The thing that we're adding now is we're adding a digital wireless infrastructure with millimeter 5G that will actually allow people to have the same level of connectivity when they're out and about. Think of a network that has 1,000 times more capacity, up to 50 times faster speeds, uh, latency or the responsiveness of the network that's 10 times better than the 4G networks of today. We are a living lab, and what that means is that we are actually able to put real-world technology in front of people at early stages. Because of this, we're fortunate enough to be a testing ground for uh, groundbreaking technologies like autonomous shuttles that I actually see rolling all the time and behind my window. Our autonomous shuttle program is actually the largest fleet and the longest running program in the United States. But the autonomous shuttles themselves have saved over 14,000 regular vehicle trips that would be done on traditional gas-powered vehicles. And, and the shuttles are electric, so they have a significantly lower carbon footprint, both on our community and on the planet. We will be the host of the first uh, vertical takeoff and landing airport in the United States in a partnership that we have with Lilium. So you'll literally have flying cars. And once you have flying cars, and then you also have flying drones providing security, this idea of the airspace above you and this environment that we can create in conjunction with the Orlando International Airport, this is what creates this aerotropolis concept, which is a city that thinks of itself three-dimensionally with the airspace as part of the built environment. You know, we use technology to predict when our parking garages are going to be full and actually create opportunities for people to find other environments to park. We use technology to figure out how to staff the different businesses that actually exist in Lake Nona by being able to predict how many people will actually come to those venues every day. We have other technologies that are available here every day, including smart glass that is actually responsive to the outside environment, allowing just the right amount of light to be in, but none of the heat. Improving technology in a city's utility systems can bring significant benefits too, particularly in the areas of emissions and energy conservation. We're in a very, very interesting time in human history where we have to save our climate. And part of saving our climate is people, cities, communities, utilities, all working together to come up with solutions. And one of the best ways to solve the problem is to become resourceful with energy and water. And that's one of the things that we at ITRON uh, take very, very seriously. Lake Nona is an amazing place. They have incorporated many, many different smart city devices, sensors, and back office analytics that allow them to really improve the quality of life for the folks that live here. Although Lake Nona was conceived and developed from scratch, any and every city can benefit from some level of technology upgrades to improve and update their own existing municipal systems. No matter the city's unique challenges or budgetary limits, the opportunity exists to make every city in North America smarter. There's many cities that do fantastic work, right? And, and in our case, we have this incredible collaboration with the city of Orlando, right? We have this amazing city that we are part of, and then we're actually able to enhance what Orlando offers. What enables us to be different is this private-public collaboration. We're part of the great city of Orlando, but we're also powered by Tavistock, you know, a private entity that is able to bring things to bear at private speed. And, and in this collaboration between the public and the private, we really create an environment where things can get done and they can get done now. Because at Lake Nona, we believe that the future is here. As civic leaders, as innovators, I think the responsibility to begin is now, right? Uh, smart cities of tomorrow are taking shape today. Uh, what the pandemic has taught us is that years of transformation can be accomplished in a matter of days and weeks. And uh, we have this newfound speed and agility to get things done. A lot of the work that we do is really focused on highlighting our member companies' deployments. Lake Nona, right here in, uh, in Orlando, Florida, is a great example of some scalable, deployed solutions that have created greater efficiencies for those who work and live in Lake Nona and actually become an example for others um, throughout the country um, as to what's possible. What's very different about how we work is that it is really a place where innovators and people that are startups can actually interface with Fortune 500 companies and come up with ideas together that they can actually deploy in a record time. This is what's attractive. This is what's actually allowed us to be different and to have a smart city that actually works.